Hello and welcome to Guten, my name is Kevin and today we'll be going over our personalization initiative, how this change will help you scale, and a short tutorial on our new personalization at scale workflow. Let's hop right into it. Our personalization initiative drastically improves our existing personalization process. We're introducing a new way to update your personalized orders and send them to production straight from the orders page. You'll be able to personalize each order item directly from the orders page without ever even leaving the page, and you can do this in just a few clicks. The value of this new feature provides you the unique opportunity to process your personalized orders within fewer clicks, which ultimately saves you a tremendous amount of time. Throughout developing and testing this new personalization feature, we have seen drastic improvements in the amount of time it takes to update personalized orders and send them to production. Before this new feature and using our existing personalization workflow, the average time to personalize 100 items was roughly 2 hours. This comes out to about 80 seconds spent on personalizing each item. With the existing workflow, the number of clicks to personalize 100 items were roughly around 1,600 clicks. After introducing a new personalization workflow, we saw a monumental improvement in the time it takes to personalize items. We discovered that the average time it took to personalize 100 items went from 2 hours to 25 minutes, which comes out to about 15 seconds spent on personalizing each item. The number of clicks it took to personalize the same amount of items went from 1,600 down to 400 clicks. Our new personalization feature aims to lower the time it takes for you to personalize your order items. Enough of the benefits, let's dive right into our new personalization feature and check it out. Everything about our new personalization workflow can be done directly from the orders page. You'll first notice that there's a new needs personalization tab here. If we click on the tab, we'll be able to view all the order items that need to be personalized. This tab will only display the table in an order item view, and these order items require you to add the artwork for the personalized items before being sent to production. You may also notice that the order ID column is different in this tab. The order ID column on this tab pulls the order ID from your e-commerce platform that you're using. For example, if you have order items from Shopify, it will display the Shopify order ID for that specific item. This helps you cross-reference and verify that the order you are replacing the artwork with is the correct one that you should be updating. Let's learn how to update the artwork for the personalized item. Click on the Replace Artwork button to add the artwork for the personalized order item. We can then add our new artwork for our personalized item by either providing the artwork URL or uploading the image using this option. There's also an option to edit the uploaded artwork on the product using the Product Editor button here. We won't be making any changes for now, and we can just click on the Ready for Production button. This will finalize updating your artwork on your personalized order item, and our system will move the order item out of the Needs Personalization status and into the Pending status. The recent order item you just updated will be removed from the Needs Personalization tab and moved into the All tab. And that's it! Our new personalization workflow is as simple as a couple of clicks, and you never even leave the Orders page. As you can see, it saves you a significant amount of time when updating the artwork for your personalized orders. Congratulations! You have just learned how to use our new workflow to update your personalized orders and send them to production straight from the orders page. You can also visit our knowledge base if you need any additional information. My name is Kevin, and thank you for watching.